Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to create a living room color palette. The methods I'll share can be used for any room of your home and in my opinion this is one of the first steps to designing any space. Whether you're starting from scratch or looking to refresh your room, choosing the right color palette can make all the difference in setting the mood and vibe of your living space. We all know a well-balanced beautiful room can completely change how your home feels, but for some, choosing colors can be overwhelming. In this video, I will share the simple method I use to create a color palette. I'll give you real life examples, both in person and on the computer, and either method can be used depending on where you're at in the process. You'll learn how to create a stunning color palette inspired by a piece of artwork, rug, or a print you love. We'll discuss the 60-30-10 rule and how you can use it in your home. I'll show you a method to visualize your space before you make any purchases. I'm Nikki D and I'm your go-to resource for design inspiration, furniture, and decor that's going to make your home look like you hired a designer. If you enjoy this video, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a comment below. Let's get right into it. The first step in the process is to decide how you want your room to feel. You can do this by pulling tear sheets from magazines, creating a folder of images on your phone or computer, or creating a Pinterest board. Pull together the images of rooms that have the vibe that you want for your home. You should be able to imagine yourself living in these spaces. Once you have all the images and you do a brain dump, select three images That'll be your North Star. This will keep you focused so that you don't get overwhelmed with too many ideas. Now that you know the look and feel you're after, you can create your color palette. For this, we need to find an item related to your inspiration images to use as a jumping off point. Inspiration can come from artwork, a rug, or a print. It can be a painting that you already own, a family heirloom, a vintage rug, or a floral print with colors that you love. This will help you create a cohesive and well-balanced room. Let's start with using artwork. Whether it's a painting, a photo, or a print, artwork can be a beautiful source of color inspiration for your room. Take a look at the colors that are used in the artwork. The ones that you're drawn to and have a certain feeling for, these are going to be the ones that you'll use to create your color palette. Once you have chosen the key colors from the artwork, then you're going to use this for your room's wall color, upholstery, and accent pieces. You can choose to go bold with vibrant colors or create a more subdued neutral color palette. The right choice is the one that fits your personal style and mood and the look that you want to create in your space. I'm going to show you an example of two rooms in my home and the artwork I use to create the color palette. One space has a neutral color story while the other one has a more bold, vibrant artwork. This will give you an example of how to create a color palette for either look. The color palette for the neutral living room was created around this large scale artwork. We used a neutral base of whites, shades of gray, which you can see throughout, ivory. We have touches and accents of black and then the metallic gold that is throughout the print. And that was really what was spread throughout the entire room to create the color palette. The key to creating a color palette from artwork that has a lot of colors in it is, in my opinion, to keep your base neutral. So we started with a neutral base. We have ivory, black, and gray touches. And then we pulled out the pink and the navy, which we carried into the sofa, the rug. And then there's the touches of the mixed metal, which is in our silver and our gold. So by keeping a neutral base, the artwork is really the star of the show and what draws your eye in and then we have touches of pink that we've spread out throughout the room and i'll show you different versions that have been created just by moving furniture around and moving the accent color in this space how you can really change the look but the focal point is always the artwork. Using artwork as a jumping off point is one method. Another great way to find color inspiration for your room is by starting off with a statement rug. This can be a Persian rug with intricate patterns or a modern geometric design. Rugs add texture, warmth, and of course, color to your space. Look at the colors 
in your rug to determine any that stand out to you and complement your existing decor. These are going to serve as the starting point for your room's color palette and will help you select coordinating paint colors, furniture, and accessories. The last method is to use a decorative print as inspiration for your room's color palette. You can use a bold floral print, a graphic geometric design, or a whimsical pattern. It can be a printed pillow, window treatment, or even a tapestry. Using prints in your design is a great way to add personality and visual interest to your space. We're going to follow the same method that we did for the artwork and area rug. Look at your print to determine the colors you love and that speak to the vibe that you want to create in your room. You'll use those colors as the guide to select your paint swatches, coordinating fabrics, and decorative accents that'll tie your whole room together. Once you have your color palette established, it's time to apply it to your room. For this, I recommend you follow the 60-30-10 rule, which is 60% of your space will be the dominant color. This is the main color of your room and it will be used on the walls, large furniture, or curtains. 30% will be your secondary color. This is the supporting act and it should be used in furniture, upholstery, throw pillows, and area rugs. 10% will be your accent color. This is going to be a pop of personality. You'll use it sparingly for artwork, lighting fixtures, or decorative objects. In this neutral living room design, the 60% is the lighter neutrals like your ivory, grayish, and gray. It's used on the wall, upholstery, coffee table, and area rug. 30% is the black secondary color, which adds contrast. This is found in the side tables, pillows, and accent wall. 10% is your accent color in this space, which is the gold metallic that's spread throughout and really carries your eye throughout the room. Another example is the sitting room. 60% is the neutral colors with the shades of gray and black. The 30% is the blue found in the artwork, sofa, and area rug. And then there's 10%, which is the pop of pink in the pillows, ottomans, the neon sign, and the flowers. The beauty of having a neutral base is that just by changing out the accent color, you'll have a totally different vibe whenever you get bored and want a different look. In this coastal design, 60% is the neutral base that was on the walls, the upholstery, and the curtains. The 30% is the pale blue that you see on the artwork, the chair, and the pillows. And then 10% is seen in the silver accents throughout the room. Aside from the 60-30-10 rule, the design principle of repetition plays an important role in creating a cohesive color palette. By strategically repeating colors or variations throughout your design, you'll create a sense of unity and harmony. It helps carry the eye throughout your space for a cohesive feel. Repeating a vibrant accent color in both your artwork and throw pillows will draw attention to those elements and tie them all together visually. Repetition also helps you establish a hierarchy in your design. Using the dominant color more and the accents sparingly creates a clear visual focal point. While repetition is valuable, too much can lead to a boring design. It's important to have a balance and use variety in your color palette. Use different shades, tints, and tones of your colors with contrasting colors for an interesting design. There are a few other considerations to think about when creating your color palette. Lighting is extremely important. Natural light can affect the way that a color appears in your space. You need to look at your swatches and colors in your space at different times of day and in different areas of the room. A color in a room that has a lot of natural light will look completely completely different in a room that has none. Think about the mood that you want to create in your living space. Warmer colors like reds and oranges will have energetic feel, while cool colors like blues and greens are going to have a calming, relaxing vibe. Choose colors that reflect the purpose and activities of your room. Lastly, do not be afraid to experiment. This is your home. Don't be afraid to break the rules and create a palette that reflects your unique style. Once you know the rules, you you can break the rules. They're just meant to be a guideline. And that, my friends, is a wrap. You now have three simple ways to create your living room color palette using inspiration from artwork, a rug, or a print. I hope these tips and ideas help you create a home you love that looks like you hired a designer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below.
and let us know what piece you use to inspire your color palette. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'm always happy to help. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more home design inspiration. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Until next time, have a great day and happy designing.